so Aaron has finally outgrew the zero to three month clothes and I was going through on her clothes trying to find the what's next six wait three to six month clothes and y'all I was feeling like man we must didn't get a lot of um three to six month clothes because my mom had sent like a lot a lot a lot of clothes with like all different sizes but then I realized that I had some other boxes and bags and totes that I had forgot about y'all so that's what I'm doing now um we haven't needed to buy Aaron any clothes like any clothes at all um most of the things that we have for her has been given to us and I'm just very thankful and grateful for, for it. Now, one lady, y'all, it's a lady that sends her a uh, trash bag full of clothes every, like, two to three months. I don't even know this lady name, y'all. But she's been just a blessing to us. I, really, I met her one time, and she gives the clothes to my neighbor, and my neighbor brings them over to me. Look at this cute little dress. And look at the buttons. I love that. And all the stuff be like, it don't even look like it's been worn. Like, it's really good stuff. Got some shoes. She got more shoes and here that I haven't, she can't even wear yet. All this stuff come from that lady and my mama. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and just show my gratitude and just tell y'all how thankful I am. Just sitting here going through this stuff, realizing like how grateful we are to have somebody to just pay and stay stuff on down, you know. Because I can remember with Michaela especially, I used to be so worried about like, how am I going to get this? How am I going to get that? You know what I'm saying? And it's amazing how now I wasn't worried about nothing and stuff just come to me. Just come. Ain't God good, y'all. Somebody got their first little set of twigs. Got their hair combed for the first time. <laughs> hey, look at my hair, y'all. Hey. Good morning, guys. We are here at the soccer game this Saturday morning. We had to get up a little early and we had to leave a little bit earlier because they had to be here to practice, to warm up before the game. So it's looking real empty out here right now. As y'all can see behind me, ain't many people here. I guess the other parents couldn't get up because I know I was laying there. I ain't want to get up this morning. Yeah, so um, I don't know if I had mentioned in the other vlog, but um, a few weeks ago, I was walking and I hurt my foot. So I'm on my way to the podiatrist to see what's going on with my foot. Okay, let me tell y'all a story. So about two weeks ago, y'all know I be walking with the neighborhood ladies and everything. And um, we was walking, and I got this really, really sharp pain, like, in the bottom of my foot. Now, the pain was not um nothing new because working at Walmart, walking on those concrete floors all the time and stuff, I had felt this pain before quite often. But um, usually, <clears throat> when I feel the pain, I would just, you know, go sit down and take a break for a minute or whatever, and, you know, it'll go away. But this particular time, the pain did not go away. So when I got home or whatever, at this point, it was just like throbbing. And I ended up putting a heat pad on there and taking some um, Motrin and everything. So, yeah, I made an um, appointment. But they wanted me to see a regular doctor first and get an x-ray. So when I get to the regular doctor, um, I had the x-ray. And they was telling me that it 
could be um plantar I don't know how to say it but plantar for some and that I would possibly need to get the steroid injections in my foot so okay cool my um I was expecting to get that but when I got to the doctor yesterday to the actual specialist um and we reviewed my x-ray and everything it turns out that it's posterior tibial tendonitis he did not give me the steroid injection because my tendon is so inflamed that he said it would be uh, it would end up making it worse so basically i got my foot taped up <clears throat> to just give it a little bit of support i'm not supposed to walk around barefoot and i have to find some shoes that offer uh, arch support scale like one to ten my pain is about a three because it's still achy <clears throat> but um i still been on it you know i still been walking around and stuff it's really like impossible for me to stay off of my foot especially with a baby you know i'm still not comfortable putting all my weight on the foot so yeah that's where we at so once I find me some shoes, some good supportive shoes and everything, I'm going to see how that, if that helps. And if not, then, you know, I have to, I have to go back. Yeah, I've heard that once you turn 30, everything just started falling apart on you. I guess, I guess this is my time. My foot, my foot toe up. My knees be hurting, my back be hurting, I'm just old. So y'all, ain't nothing else going on right here. Me and Aaron over here chilling, watching our little daily cartoons and everything. Probably gonna start cooking in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog, y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see y'all on the next video.